good, everybody? Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. And listen, I've been gone for a few days. That's because I'm sick. Still sick. Still getting over a cold. Feeling a lot better now, but that's why I missed the past two days. But listen, fam, you, I need you guys to land Jakari Carter. It is imperative that you do. Why? Because you're losing Xavier Smith. Jamari Sharid is a senior. And unless he has an extra year of eligibility that I don't know about, you're losing him too. Now, I don't know how your receiving core looks beside from Kareem Burke, who I am a big fan of, who was a freshman last year in the 2022 class, who's going into his sophomore season, who I expect big things from. But aside from him, I don't know how that receiving core is looking. So if you're a family fan, tell me down below. But I think this guy, Jakari Carter, who is currently in the transfer portal, who you guys have offered, is the perfect replacement for Xavier Smith. I'm not saying he's Xavier Smith, nor am I saying that he can match the 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 production because Xavier Smith is one of the best receivers to ever come out of FAMU. I'm saying that he is. Um, he should go down in the FAMU Hall of Fame. Like I I I just love this man's game. Um, he's a perfect replacement in my opinion. Coming from Mary Mac University, this man caused himself mixed excitement, and when you watch this film, you can see why, as I'm sure you're doing now. So listen, he has seven offers already. FAMU, Liberty. Georgia State, Alcorn, Delaware State, Mississippi State, Northern Iowa. Listen, he's picking up big-time college football program interest. So it is imperative that y'all jump on this right now because when I say I can just see him in the slot, him, Kareem Burke, and whoever it is is going to be on that outside, I can just see them catching passes from Jeremy Musa. I can see that offense being so explosive. Again, I am not comparing him to Xavier Smith. All I'm saying is that when I see him play, I see similarities in their game. I see a perfect fit for FAMU's offense. You need to give him, Jeremy Musa, who I'm talking about, more weapons now that you, now that you are losing two very big ones to graduation in the NFL. When I look at Jakari, man, I see a guy who can get in and out of his breaks very quickly, a speed demon, somebody who will take the top off of your defense and just an electrifying player who will give you that spark that you need, most likely going to need at some point in the season. FAMU has done a great job, and I mean a very good job, of continued success these past two seasons, only really losing to Jackson State bad. I feel like Jakari Carter can help you get over the hump. Maybe it's you next year in the Celebration Bowl. Maybe. Jakari Carter can definitely help you get there. That's all I'm saying. He's getting a lot of interest. I really do hope that Willie Simmons does his work, does whatever he do to land this man with FAMU. I can just see it. Everything everything about him is just, it, it fits. I automatically thought FAMU, this would be the perfect guy for y'all. So please, man, I hope, I hope that he, that FAMU lands this guy. But if you are a FAMU fan, you let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. You are watching the Blitz City Podcast, and I'm out.